Hey guys, this is Charles Jaeger for premiumbeat.com. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you some tips for using the collect files function in Adobe After Effects. Just to give you a quick overview of what the collect files function is in After Effects, it creates copies of every file in your project and adds them to a folder along with a copy of the project file, which makes it easy to send your project to someone who might be working remotely or to a client when the project is finished. I'm going to give you guys a few tips that I've learned that can make this process a lot easier and more efficient. I've created a demo project here that we'll be working with today as an example, and you can imagine this as a project we just finished working on and we need to send it to a client. Before we actually do anything though, I want to go ahead and show you where the Collect Files is located. So if you come here to File and then come down to Dependencies, and you can see Collect Files, so I'm just going to click that. And it's going to ask you that you need to save it first, go ahead and click OK. And it's going to pop up this Click Files dialog box, and it's going to tell us how many files we currently have in our project, which is 51, and it's around 4.5 gigabytes in size, and then we can go ahead and collect that. But before we actually do that, there's a couple things we can do to our project that will make the work a lot more efficient. So I'm just going to go ahead and X this out. Now the first thing you'll notice with our project here, I've got some different subfolders. Over here I've got the main folder, which is files, and I have some other subfolders inside here with kind of neatly organized. And you definitely want to organize your project. It'll make it a lot easier on who's ever receiving it. And also After Effects is going to actually create a folder structure based off what your folders are here in your project. So just as an example, I've got a folder here that says Video Clips. And I can open this up and actually After Effects is going to create a folder called Video Clips when it does the collect files. And it'll add all of these clips here into that folder. So it's definitely good to have everything organized inside of your project. And so my first tip would be just to make sure all of your files are actually located in the folders you have labeled. So in this case I have Video Clips here and I have some clips that are actually outside of the Video Clips folder. When I run collect files, it'll actually put these clips outside of that folder. So everything won't be really organized very well. So I definitely recommend just getting everything organized first. So I'm just going to add those into the video clips folder. The other thing is the collect files function doesn't like it when folders are kind of nested within each other very much. So if you have multiple folders within each other, such as I have here, everything inside of this files folder, I definitely recommend having everything, all of your folders, just in the main project area. So I'm actually going to move all of these folders here outside of that files folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. For some reason, the hierarchy kind of matters when you run collect files. So if you have like folders, like three folders deep, in my experience, when you run collect files, sometimes it won't actually collect those files that are very deep nested in the folder hierarchy. So I highly recommend just having all of your folders right here in the project area. And just as another example of this, I'm going to open up the photos folder and I've got a logos folder here. I'm actually going to move that outside of that just so it's also in the main project area as well. Now another thing we can do that's going to make a big difference, if we come here to File and go back down to Dependencies here, you're going to see an option that says Remove Unused Footage. And what this is going to do, it's going to remove any footage that we haven't used in any comps in our project. So actually in this project I only have one composition which is my main comp. So this will remove all the footage that we don't have actually layered inside of this main composition. If you had multiple compositions it will take those into account. So let's go ahead and remove the unused footage. So go to File, Dependencies, and Remove Unused Footage. And it's going to tell me that 39 pieces of footage have been removed from this project. We can go ahead and click OK. And again, this makes a big difference when we run collect files because there's no need for us to collect files that we don't need to send to the client that aren't crucial to the project. So now that we've taken those steps into account, we can go ahead and run collect files. So I'm going to go to File, Dependencies, Collect Files. It's going to ask you to save your project first. You're going to want to make sure you already saved a copy of your project before you did reduce files just in case you want to work on it again. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. And now it's going to show me that I'm only going to be collecting 13 files, 1.5 gigabytes. And if I need to add any comments, I can do that here as well. I'm just going to X this off, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Collect. And when I do that, it's going to open up the Windows search box and ask us where we want to save this to. So I've got a folder here, which is the Collect Files Tutorial. And I'm just going to name this folder My After Effects Project File Folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. And when I do that, you're going to see it's actually copying all the files over to that new folder. And when it completes, it will actually reveal that folder to us. So if I go over to Collect Files Tutorial, you can see this is the folder that was created by Collect Files. So I'm just going to click on it. And now we can see inside of here we have three different things. We have a footage folder. If I go ahead and click that, you're going to see it now has all the folders that were created from our project, which you can see here where it's mirrored. And I can actually click on them. And all that footage is now organized neatly within those. We can also see we have a copy of our After Effects project that is linked to this footage folder, so everything will link up when we open that up. And we also have a file report, and this is very crucial, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now this is really nice because it gives us a lot of data from when the collect files was done, 
It gives us the date and the time, and it gives us some names and tells us the files here, but also tells us where the original files were located on the computer when it did the collect files. And it also gives us a few other things such as rendering plugins. So if you had any third-party plugins that were used, it will typically list those here. And if you had any fonts that were used, particularly it would give a list of the fonts that were used. One thing that's important to keep in mind, whoever you're sending the project to, you're gonna to wanna to make sure they have the same third-party plugins and fonts installed that you used in your project. Otherwise, those may pop up as missing. But again, all the files will actually be linked here too in the footage folder that you're gonna be sending them. So if I was gonna send this, I would just come over here and I would just compress this folder. And now I can easily send this compressed file to the client. And again, all the files will be linked properly to the project file. One extra tip here, if you're using an older version of After Effects, such as CS6, there was a known bug with the Collect Files feature that plagued a lot of older versions of After Effects. And I'll go ahead and show you what you can do to get around that real quick. So just come down here to Dependencies, and you're going to go to Collect Files. And then go ahead and click Collect. And when you actually name your project here, when you click Save, actually don't click it, just hit Enter on the keyboard and don't move the mouse at all for whatever reason. If you move the mouse during the collection process, it will actually not collect all the files. Again, this is kind of a weird quirky bug that plagued a lot of older versions of After Effects. So that's an extra tip to consider if you're using an older version of After Effects. For more tips like this one, make sure you check out the Premium Beat blog. And while you're there, check out some of Premium Beat sound effects packages. They have a ton of different sounds that can help you accent your next project. This has been Charles Jaeger. Thanks for watching.